Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Mahdi. Today and in this video we will have a comparison between alpha, beta, gamma, x-ray and neutron radiation. I mean comparison in power energy, uh, penetration depth and also different protective methods. At the end of this video if you like it please push the like, press the subscribe button and also it would be great to share my video with your friends. Now let's get started. First I would like to start with alpha radiation. They are generally produced in the process of alpha decay. As you can see in this picture, it has uh, two protons and two neutrons bond together into a particle identical to a helium-4 nucleus. It's something like helium nucleus because in helium nucleus, in the structure of helium nucleus, there are two new, uh, neutrons and two protons, something like alpha particle. And also symbol for alpha particle is alpha. We can show it like this alpha or alpha 2 plus because it has two positive charge. And also we can show it like this helium 2 plus. I mean helium without electron. When helium doesn't have any electron, we show it like this helium 2 plus. I mean two protons and two neutrons, something like alpha particles. And as in the structure of alpha particles, we have two neutrons and two protons. We can also show it like this helium 2 plus. And uh, penetration depth for alpha particle is very low. It's, it could be because of electrical charge and also relatively large mass. But anyway, uh, it could be stopped by a few centimeters of air or by the skin or uh, paper. Uh, penetration depth for alpha particle in air is near 10 centimeters. And in water and organic materials, it's near 40 micrometers. And a thick sheet of paper or a few centimeters of air should be sufficient to shield alpha particles completely. And the second one is beta radiation, high energy, high speed electron or positron. In the following, uh, I will explain to you about the difference between electron and uh, positron. But anyway, electron or positron emitted by the radioactive decay of an atomic nucleus during the process of beta decay. And also there are two different types of uh, beta decay, beta negative decay and also beta positive decay. But what's the difference between beta uh, negative decay and also beta positive decay? Uh, I mean uh, beta negative decay could happen for an unstable atomic nucleus with an excess of neutrons. I mean number of neutrons is more than proton. In this case, neutron is converted to proton, electron, and also electron antineutrino. But in beta uh, positive decay, I mean beta positive decay, it could happen for an unstable atomic nucleus with an excess of proton. I mean, in this case, number of proton is more than neutron. But what happens? In this case, proton is converted to neutron, positron, positron the same mass as an electron, and also electron neutrino. And also about the penetration depth. Penetration depth for beta is more than alpha. And depends on energy, the penetration of beta radiation is several meters in air. And beta radiation could be shielded using an absorber with a thickness of a few millimeters. For example, we can use aluminum sheet or plexiglass. Uh, and now gamma radiation, unlike alpha and beta particles, gamma is not a particle and also I mean uh, it doesn't have a mass and it's a wave but anyway gamma uh, is a penetrating form of electromagnetic radiation arising from the radioactive uh, decay of atomic nuclei it consists of the shortest wavelength electromagnetic waves i mean between uh, electromagnetic waves gamma has the shortest wavelength i mean it has the most energy i mean it's the most powerful wave between electromagnetic waves and also about the penetration uh, penetration depth i would say uh, in, con uh, in uh, contrast to alpha and beta gamma rays due to their penetrating nature require large amount of shielding mass to reduce them to level 
which are not harmful to living cells. And also please note, it's very, very important. It's not possible to shield gamma radiation completely and only possible to weaken it. It's very important. And also uh, gamma rays are uh, best absorbed by materials with high atomic numbers and high densities. I mean, it's better to select materials with high atomic number. For example, like an example, lead. Atomic number for lead is high. In this case, shielding will be 20 to 30 percent better than an equal mass of another loaded shielding materials like aluminum, uh, concrete, water, or soil. And now X-ray radiation. I mean second shortest wavelength electromagnetic waves. I mean second most powerful electromagnetic wave after gamma radiation uh, x-ray are produced within the x-ray tube here you can see the structure of x-ray tube in the structure of x-ray tube there is a cathode and anode both of them are made of tungsten but why tungsten tungsten has many advantages for example it's possible to manufacture it in thin wire and also having High atomic number and very high melting point are another advantages for tungsten. But anyway, here you can see the cathode, a current is passed through the cathode and heats it up, which resulting in increase in energy, which enable electrons to be released. Electron will be released from cathode. And after that, electron will be accelerated from the cathode and electrons with high velocity will go to the anode and they will hit the anode, which result in conversion of energy into heat and X-ray. I mean, electron will be accelerated and will go to the anode, hit the anode, and electron has energy. This energy uh, convert to heat, 99% heat, and also X-ray, 1% X-ray. And about penetration depth, about the penetration depth, it's exactly like gamma, I mean, X-ray cannot be shielded completely, but only weakened. And again, elements with high atomic number, like uh, atomic number, like lead, are used for shielding. Neutron radiation and uh, neutrons are released as a result of nuclear fission or special nuclear reactions, as you can see in this picture. One uranium atom fissions by splitting into two lighter nuclei aligned with two or three neutrons and the release of energy. Penetration depth for a neutron, uh, since neutrons are electrically neutral, they have a high penetrating power in matter similar to gamma radiation. And also the most effective uh, most effective shielding materials are water, water for large sources, uh, or hydrocarbons like uh, polyethylene or paraffin wax for uh, small sources, and also elements with high capture cross sections like boron, cadmium, or gadolinium could be used for thermal neutrons. And now as a conclusion, I would say alpha could not be dangerous for our body because uh, it could be shielded by our skin, but beta, gamma, x-ray, and neutrons are dangerous for our body. For uh, I mean beta could be shielded by aluminum foil, gamma and x-ray could be shielded by lead, and for neutrons we can use water. Hope you found this video useful. If you have any comment or question, you can write it below in comment section. If you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell. In this case, you will get notification whenever I publish a new video. And please don't forget that life is short and enjoy it. Thank you so much and bye.